Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. Hey guys. Hey guys, it's Steph. And Tasha. And it's Rhonda. And we're back with another video. Before we get into the video, I want you guys to please thumbs this video up. If you like it, share, comment, subscribe. If you're new here, welcome to the family. And thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. Baby's gonna tell you what we're doing today. Today, you guys, we are doing one of my favorites, Mexican food. We have a lot of items here, you guys. Yes. We're gonna talk about this when we get into the video. Y'all ready? Yes. We're ready. Ready. We've been very ready. ready. Yeah. Very ready. Okay. 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 So let's get into the video. All right. Y'all, we back. Back, back, back. And we ready to just eat because I'm hungry as much. Sorry. Okay. We just got done with a live, y'all. So we like super hungry and yeah, I don't know. So we have some beef tacos. We have a giant burrito here, taquitos, chimichangas, enchiladas, tamale, salsa, sour cream, and guacamole. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's get it back. Yeah. Here's the tamale. Mm. Here's the enchila oh, enchiladas. Enchiladas. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Mm. Here's a chimichanga. Mm. Chimichangan. Mm. Chimichangan. Okay. Taco. Mm. Bitch, we doing this. Y'all, we hungry. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Ooh. I'm already hooking my plate up, so I don't know what y'all doing. But. Mm. I'm just eating. Just anything. Not the plate. No, I need, I need a plate. So I can go and get in my little corner and eat. Mmm. 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 Hell yeah. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's good, y'all. Huh? You like it, baby? Mm hmm. Okay. Hell yeah. That's good. So, Ronnie, mm -hmm. can I trade you one taco for an enchilada? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> I will take that offer. <laughs> <laughs> you want a whole enchilada right now? Come on. You can give me a. Uh, oh? Yeah, me and Tasha will share it over okay. here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Mexican food is one of my favorites. It might be one of my it's fine. Woo. I'm okay. gonna drink my water. That's not clearly, clearly not water. <laughs> adult water, guys. Adult water. <sighs> Woo, look at that, y'all. Oh, I'm sorry, but my shit look good. Mm. Let me put it on Stephanie's face. No, I'm mm. eating some good shit right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's bomb. Mm. This is El Cholo, y'all. I don't know if y'all know nothing about El Cholo. It's in LA. I don't know. I don't know. What is this? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They have that shit. El Cholo, baby. And they got um, combo number one on 95 cents. What? On the 23rd. Okay. 95 cents. What combo, y'all? Mm -hmm. A day before my birthday. We going. We going. Yes. We, we going, going to celebrate Tasha. Yep. For 95 cents. <laughs> right. We celebrate me for 95 cents, y'all. Y'all see how cheap I am? Mm. The universe mm. knows what's up with me. Right. Tasha cheap. <laughs> Let's find some 95 cents in her. 95 cents Tasha day. I, look, I went to the grocery store with Tasha today, y'all. I wish I could have seen how she was acting in that store. <laughs> what she do, baby? It was so much shit she was considering. <laughs> then she was over it when she looked at the price. Right. She I was, was like, like she be here. It's just $6. No thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. She was like, oh, I need this. Until she saw the price. She was like, right. I love that. Nope. I'm going to die. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's how she does. That shit was hilarious. I'm not paying $6 for the shit I can make myself for $3. I want it. Because it's convenient and quick, but I can't get myself to buy it. But it's so damn expensive. These shit and look really good. They're pretty good. They have some fucking sauce. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's like, y'all, we, we only have a topic today. Mm. We all hungry, y'all. I'm starving. Okay. We ate some breakfast. No, we haven't. We have Mmm. Let me show y'all how good breakfast was. 
breakfast was so damn good. Had so much going on. Mm, just delicious. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I love it. <clears throat> we had bacon, sausage, <laughs> grits, eggs, biscuits, biscuits, hash browns, hash browns. Yeah, it was going down. Like that's one. You know what? That's one thing I don't ever have to worry about is food when I come over to Sasha's second house. <laughs> I don't never have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna eat good. My spirit, my body, my mind <laughs> knows that it's going down. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So when you hungry and feeling malnourished, mm -hmm. come over here. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm not gonna leave hungry, y'all. Hey, we will feed you. Nope. You want some chicken? Uh, um, this is cheese as well. Guys' favorite thing. Mm. 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 I think mine was this one. That was it. Mm. That? Mm. Let me try it. I feel like mine was the um chimichanga, but I don't know if I really tested it. Because I don't really You did, you liked it. it. <laughs> oh. I was like, ooh, that's good. I don't remember that shit. Is this cheese and shawda? Mm-hmm. Yep. Let me see. Let me see. Mm. Okay. That shit bound wild. It tastes like Indian food. Mm. It's really good though. Yeah. It gives me an Indian flavor. Mm -hmm. That shit good as fuck. 
What about the burrito? Mm. How you feel about I'm it? Try it? I'm gonna taste it. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I'm gonna put that shit up and bite it. You wanna try the sauce? Yeah. Be careful because it's breaking all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of shredded beef. Me either. Mm -mm. I don't like shredded beef. I don't understand it. Who's that? Mm -mm. It's good though. Mm. But I just don't want it. Yeah. I want a big ground. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Or like whole. Mm -hmm. I like both. Whole like what? Whole like a whole cow? Or a steak. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like carnets, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like chops, yeah. 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 What can you talk about, Sean? Step out of the You do? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how you know. I just like you. Just made it or something? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm trying to do an ASMR, y'all. Mm -hmm. Chunk that you'd expect to see in the stew. Mm hmm. That's inside the burrito. Oh, okay. We fucking this shit up, y'all. Mm -hmm. Fucking this shit up. Mm hmm. Ooh, that's good. What? What you had? Enchilada. That? that shit is good, huh? Mm -hmm. It's crazy because it's just cheese. All right. Yeah. yeah. The sauce is good. Mm -hmm. I'm good. This food is just good in general. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> How you this shit up? Mm -hmm. I think this is uh, the least talking this mukbang we've ever done in life. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. I'm full, so I can talk now. Okay. What was the thing? So I can start talking about it and y'all can keep eating. Okay. You need to fall asleep, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not even falling asleep. I'm just enjoying every fucking bite. This shit is really good. Whew. So shout out to Mexico. We love y'all. Thank you for bringing your food to America. Okay. Right? Because, whew. It's delicious. I don't know how to live my life without guacamole. The topic I have today. I told you you had something. It is. <laughs> it's from a viewer. Thank you. You wanted to be anonymous, so I'm not going to say your name. Okay. She has a friend that she can't be honest to. Like, she has to always walk on eggshells with this person. Mm -hmm. But the friend always wants advice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how do I deal with a person who you feel like they don't really want the truth, but they're asking you a question. So it's like, either you lie or fucking make a mess. So wait a minute, you want a friend, you have a friend who wants to tell you all their issues, right. but they don't want you to be, be critical Not at all. and be yeah. honest. Exactly. When she said, whenever, the, whenever she comes with an honest answer, the person gets mad at her. They don't talk for a few days. So she feels like she doesn't want an honest answer. She wants like a yes man, right? Okay. My, my perspective, don't say shit. Tell her the truth. Be like, you know what? I Tell her the truth. Tell her I don't really want to say anything because I don't feel comfortable. Every time I tell you how I really feel, you get upset and we don't talk. Mm -hmm. So I would prefer just to listen to what your problems are and that's it. That's it. Which is not really great. I'm not giving you any advice. You so That might be the type of friend, because some people want to tell you what they're going through, but they don't want you to have a really, really have a response. Mm -hmm. They yeah, just want to hear what you're saying. Like yeah. That. They and don't want to know. A lot of friends from like giving honest advice. They don't want your, some people don't want your advice. Some people just want to tell you 
what's hurting them and get that out and they don't want to hear anything in response. And that's why, but don't ask me a question. But I feel like that she has her around to be a yes man. That if that's not who you are, because some people are okay with being a yes man. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If that's not who you are and you genuinely want to give her the right like advice in your heart to her, I feel like y'all friendship might be over. To yeah. be completely honest with you, yeah. because there's no way you guys can have a genuine friendship if that person's not willing to receive what you're trying to say. Right. So your friendship's not going to grow. It's going to become stagnant. You guys have distance. You know, you start missing birthdays, and you know that's how it starts, and it's going to keep on going that way. And it's not that's not healthy, and it's not fair to you if you are the type of person that wants to be honest. Right. Because there are definitely people that are yes me. You know what I mean? But if that's not you. I feel like the friendship probably has ran its course. Yeah. Because your friend should respect you enough. Because if they, if, first of all, if you ask somebody for their advice, that means you trust them and respect them to a certain degree. That's, to me. Yeah. That's what I think. Because you, you, I feel like we all categorize and compartmentalize our friends. Mm -hmm. This is somebody I have fun with. This is somebody I hang out with. This is somebody I can tell all my secrets to. And et cetera, et cetera. Right. So if you're telling me all your business and wanting advice, then you got to respect what, and you got to respect and expect what it is that I have to say to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, I feel like that friendship might be over if she don't want that. If right. the friend doesn't want to receive that from you. It probably is over. That's not fair, you know? That's not a real friendship. It's not. It's a one-way street. It's basically me unloading my stuff and you tell me what I want to hear. Right. Basically. That's a dependency. That's okay. the, your friend is depending on you to listen to all her shit. But she doesn't want your advice. She doesn't want your input. She just wants to tell you everything she's going through and that's it. So that's kind of like a one-sided friendship. And that's not cool. And a lot of people are like that. A lot of people are one-sided friendship type motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when that shit come crashing down. It's your fault. She expects you to be there to support her through that. When or you that. Like, yeah. I saw this coming already. Yeah. You know, when you were trying to give your advice a, a, a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And now this shit came tumbling down. Mm -hmm. And she wants you to be there. Be available. Overextend yourself. Stay the night. Yeah. No, that's not fair to you. No. It's a friend. It's not fair. Right. And trust me, that shit is going to happen. And I'm speaking from experience. You know, I've never been a yes man. But it's just unfortunate. People don't want to receive what it is you're trying to say. That's right. what I mean. So. I've, had, I've had this experience before. I'm in, in not just one time. So I've had experiences where I've given my opinion and then the people just leave because they just can't take it. So I became like, I became very cautious with other friends after that. Mm -hmm. So I would have friends, I, I have a lot of friends that accept everything I say, you know, whatever. But then I've had experiences after the stuff that I've had where I would say, well, I'm not going to say too much. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to lose this person as a friend. So I'm just going to sit here and listen. And it would, literally would eat me up, you know, to... to feel like I wasn't doing what was in their best interest that I thought or giving them advice that would help them that ate me up you know yeah and I feel like eventually it broke us apart anyway because I would be like man I just can't like when I would see their phone calls I'm like I already know some bullshit and I can't even say what it is you don't even really want me to and this is not me so it, I led myself away from it anyway at some point so that sucks know, that yeah. sucks it's a bad feeling because you feel like you're not fulfilling your duty as a friend. Yeah, right? exactly. To tell you the truth. Have you ever held back what you felt because you know the person wouldn't accept it? Probably. I think I really did that all the time. Yeah, that's just what you did. I think I, that was what I did, period, in my whole entire life because I felt like this is why I did it, though. I knew. I, now, now, I'm a very good reader. I feel like I'm a very good reader of people. And I know when the motherfucker is just telling you, or I know when someone is just telling you something because they want you to hear it, but not because they want any advice. They just want to get whatever out they're trying to get out, right? So I'll listen to them and I'll be like, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I feel you. I'll just say shit like that because I know that's all they want. They don't want anything else. They don't want any advice. They don't want to know how they can make their shit better. They don't want my opinion. They just want to get out what they're trying to get out. Mm -hmm. and that's, no, I'll say that's shit. And, that, and then, yeah, you're right. You, you got to be able to detect that. You got to understand who opinion. wants this, who wants advice, and who is just trying to get what they feel they're trying to vent yeah. that's it they don't, yeah because they're like i'm going back to this relationship yeah i just want to tell you that this motherfucker ain't shit right and those gotta be the yeah. ones you gotta be careful because you can't be like yeah i agree with you i don't feel like she's doing this right even if you feel that way because if you do that they're gonna be pissed off at you mm -hmm. like why are you talking shit about my woman 
You just told me she was a piece of shit. She cheated on you 855 times, but you don't want me to say shit. And I love you, so I want to say some shit, but you can't. All right, guys, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let us know what you guys think. If you want to learn more about us and our personal lives, please subscribe to our vlog channel. The link is in the description below. Hello. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Turn your notifications on <laughs> if you want to know about our, our upcoming videos as soon as they come out. And until next time, only good vibes. Only good vibes. Peace. Peace.